I hope all of you are doing really well. So in today's video, I thought of doing a makeup tutorial uh, because Karwa Chauth is on Sunday and so I thought why not, you know. So uh, this is the look I came up with. I hope you will enjoy watching today's uh, makeup tutorial and do let me know in the comment section how I look. So without any further to do, let's jump right into the tutorial. So uh, first in I have to uh, really hydrate my skin because hydration is super important guys. Um, sorry for the noise. But uh, hydration is really important. So whatever moisturizer, oil, according to your skin type, please use a moisturizer. I have super dry skin. So I'm using this uh, cellular dry oil. This is by Calaba. So this is the product. And it is amazing. You can like understand how much I've used. I just have this much left. I have to order a new bottle. But this is really good. So do not forget to hydrate your face before applying any sort of uh, makeup on the face because if you do not apply any uh, moisturizer, what will happen is uh, the foundation which you're going to put, it will become really cakey and it's not basically it's not going to set well. Okay, so uh, hydrate your face and uh, and you can use any any moisturizer that suits you. In fact. Uh, there is this Garnier one which is really good, the red color tub. It's really good. So, wow. So, as we talk of hydration, it's really important to hydrate your lips as well because then the lipstick is going to set well. So, uh, this is, uh, I'm using the Laneige uh, Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. Now this is really good and it is going to last you like a year, more than a year actually. So you need a very little tiny amount. That's it. That's it. And uh, in fact, if you do not want to invest uh, in this one, you can use the Vaseline, um, those tubes that you get. Anything, like just hydrate, that's what the main point is. So moving on from hydration, we'll uh, start. Now my personal choice is I always use a concealer first and then go in with the foundation, okay? So I really wanted to use all drugstore products for this video, but I don't have all uh, drugstore products. Like I think I'm just using one, yeah, I'm just using one high end in this video because the this one, this is L'Oreal, okay? So this is the concealer which I wanted to apply, but most probably this is not my correct shade. So I'm not going in first with this one. Uh, I'll go in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So um, this is a multi-using sculpting concealer and uh, it's really nice. So very little. Yeah, I don't use much concealer because it like, looks kind of artificial. So. <laughs> I used this brush uh, it's kind of an angular uh, dense brush but of course you can use your fingers to dab in the concealer uh, because many of you will not want to use brushes and many of you do not know how to use brushes which is perfectly fine because you have your beautiful fingers and you can do the work with it so after the concealer I'm going to use uh, the foundation so I'm using the Color Bar 24 Hours Weightless Liquid Foundation. This is again a drugstore product. So this is the tube. It's super nice. It's super nice. I am in the shade FW 5.3. Okay. 
so uh, i do not use any beauty blenders or brushes for applying the foundation i know uh, like people uh, usually use beauty blenders and all but trust me use this method once it's uh, it takes very little time and it sits beautifully i mean i have got the best of results so i'm sharing it with you so i'm just going to take uh, i think two pumps i think it's almost over so i'm just taking this much if you can see yeah i'm just taking this much uh, for the starting and then as required i will move on so just see what i'm doing i am using these two hands and i'm just going to blend in like a cream okay so that's it <laughs> that is what i do uh, again i'm going to take a little more because this is a curva chot look so a little more can be applied do not forget your neck okay can you see it is looking super good what's the difference if you're using uh, your hand or your blender like see anything that suits you use that if you find the hand method to be good nothing like it right so yeah so my foundation is done so next what i'm going to do is i have to set the face do not forget to um, set your face because especially nowadays we are all wearing masks so if you do not set your face your makeup will just transfer on to your mask so we don't want that so uh, i'm using a loose powder you can use any compact if you want you can use loose powders anything you want but just set your face okay so here i'm using the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder uh, this is the shade 15 which is light this is it so this is how it looks and it's pretty good so i'm going to take a fluffy brush dip in the brush drop off the excess and just set the face with a very light hand okay just for the sake of setting it and do not forget to set your eyes as well because um if you do not set your eyes the uh, there will be creases over here of the concealer which you have put so we don't want that because the eye shadow won't look good otherwise so yeah pretty <laughs> okay so once your face is set we we'll move on to our next uh section that is our eyebrows so for eyebrows i'm taking the nika brow on point micro fine pencil in the shade wiccan wand okay so this is how the thing looks so you have the pencil on one side and uh the spoolie on the other side so with the spoolie i'm just going to set the brows and then the very light hand just fill in the spaces which are like the empty spaces okay i'm not going to do a dramatic eyebrow i absolutely do not like it so <laughs> I'm going to 
into a smoky eye, a very, very simple smoky eye for which I just need two products that is my kajal and a basic uh, eyeshadow palette which has a black color. That's it. It's super easy. Just see how I'm doing it and you'll be like, ah. <laughs> so I'm using my Lakme Iconic Kajal, the very basic Kajal. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, just take my mirror one second. Yeah. So, I will start with the upper portion in a very rough way. Yeah, that's it. Okay. No need to go extra. Very rough, as you could see. So, after I've put the kajal on the upper eye uh, lash, uh, I'm just going to go in with any brush, any fluffy brush you can take. I've taken this fluffy brush over here. So, with this brush, uh, first actually take a tapered brush, okay? First take a tapered brush and then... Uh, I think with the light reflecting, you, you can see better now my skin. Uh, the mirror is reflecting the <laughs> light. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Okay. So remember, the trick to a good smoky eye is blending. Nothing else. So, keep on blending, keep on blending. Can you see? Beautifully it has blended. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this palette. This is the Maybelline, the City Mini palette, okay? So this is how the palette looks. I'll just open. This is how the palette looks, okay? So I'll take the black shadow over here. I've taken it on the same brush actually. And then what I'm going to do, then I'm just going to blend it with the kajal. Okay, that's it. So remember that if you do not have a palette, an, an eyeshadow palette or something, then there's nothing to be scared of that I cannot do anything. You have a kajal, just put your kajal on the upper line and just bend it, that's it. So, yeah. now I'm going to take the fluffier brush which I showed you earlier and I'm going to blend the ends. Yeah. So, your smoky eye is done. So now I'm going to do the other eye quickly and come back. So I'm done with both my eyes and now I'm going to take the same kajal and put it on my lower lash line. Very light handedly. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now next, uh, it's totally up to you if you want to go in with a bling sort of a look or whatever. This is from Swiss Beauty, okay? Um, now, this is a glitter eyeshadow, liquid glitter eyeshadow, okay? And the shade is 06 Molten Midnight, alright? So if you want, only if you want, this is how it looks. It comes with this applicator, which is really nice. So if you want, you can just put it like in the middle and then blend it off just for that bling, extra bling, blingy. So yeah, you put it and then you blend it. Okay. So if you like want glitter on your shadow, then this is the look to go for. So what have I done? I've just put it in the middle and then tapped it with my fingers. So again on this eye 
and then tap it off. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, now you can see. <laughs> so yeah, this gives a little blingy kind of a thing. So yeah. So uh, I thought of it, and if you want some extra bling, okay, so you can use this um, uh, silvery sort of a shade. If you can see, I don't know. Wait, I'll, I'll show you like this. Can you see? There's this silvery uh, sort of a shade which you can use on top yeah <laughs> now there is more blingy and shiny and all that <laughs> so yeah it depends on you it's your choice you can keep a simple smoky eye or you want to add glitter in it you can add glitter all right so i think we're done with the eyes just the mascara part is left so for mascara i have two mascaras let's see which one to use one is the volume million lashes uh this is both are by l'oreal yeah both are by l'oreal so this is the volume million lashes this is how it looks and i'll show you the wand That's how the wand looks. Okay, so um, this is one of them. Another uh, very important tip I want to give is do not buy waterproof mascaras. I've done a mistake by buying them, but do not use waterproof mascaras because they are very harsh on your lashes when you try to, you know, uh, uh, remove the uh, mascara it's really hard on the lashes so no so this one is again the volume million lashes uh, okay this one is extra black and i guess this one's the normal one so yeah i'm gonna use the extra black oh uh, i hope you can see lashes automatically make your look extra beautiful okay on the lower lash line as well okay the lower lashes also need some attention guys yeah okay so can you see how beautiful my eyes look so um and also the face if you look at my face can you see how dewy in spite of setting it with a uh, powder so you can understand the importance of a good uh, base or moisturizer now next i'll be moving on to a contour uh, i am using the k beauty uh, this is a stick contour. This is a basically cream contour. So the shade is Coco Focus. Okay. So this is how it looks. And if you open it, it's almost over actually. So, yeah. so what I'm going to do is I do not need a lot of contouring, but just to show from like make a pouting face. Okay. <laughs> okay. So be serious so make a pout face and wherever this thing is cutting you will cut through that okay so moving on that's it okay do not go overboard for the nose Now with a brush, okay, where's my brush? Yeah, 
so with this is an angle uh, shaped brush which is become more angular because i've kept it in a very bad way but anyway so uh, what i'm going to do is i will blend okay blend 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 good blending is the key okay can you see that effect okay so most of the times actually i use my fingers fingers are the best but okay yeah that's it i do not do a lot of contouring because it looks really fake so whatever you have you have <laughs> can't help okay so that's it with the contouring part now i'll be moving on to a uh, blush so for blush i'm using the l'oreal paris uh le bar a blush i don't know how do you call it le bar a blush okay whatever so uh, <laughs> the shade is 11 fears b fears okay So this is a reddish, yeah, reddish orange sort of a shade. So that's gonna go with my Carvajal look. So there's my brush. So I'm going to use uh, this uh, brush right here. Blush and brush got confused. <laughs> so this is uh, how it looks. Use any brush which suits you. So. don't take a lot of it i tend to take a lot of blush so what i'm going to do is just over here okay just over here do not put over here put here then your cheekbones tend to uh look you know higher so smile a little and put your blush you won't be able to see it without some lights yeah can you see the blush i don't want to be a doll so i'm not going to put extra extra now here Okay, both sides done. Very nice. If you want, you can put some on the nose also. It looks good. So after uh, the blush, I'll be moving on to uh, highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm using K Beauty Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Champagne Fizz. Okay, this is by Katrina, the brand Katrina's brand. So, so this is how the highlighter looks. Can you see? gorgeous isn't it so um i'm going to put this highlighter uh since karwa chauth is a festival which is like you celebrate it in the evening after the sun goes down uh so you need a little bling so for that bling i'm going to put in some extra highlighter i love highlighters actually so how, where do you put a highlighter over here on your cheekbone okay so yeah can you see that shine this uh, highlighter by k beauty is really beautiful and natural it looks really gorgeous some here some on the nose yeah some over here okay that's it can you see 
gorgeous just some over here and here okay on your brow bones so yeah that was pretty much it i don't need to do anything else just the lipstick part is left which i'm gonna put after i wear my dress okay so i'll come right back wearing the dress so i'm back with the uh, salwar which i've put on it's a red salwar uh, this was gifted to me by my best friend before my marriage so yeah so uh, now what i'm going to do is put the lipstick so for lipstick i have some options for you guys uh, i have three options for reds now i'll start with the one which i don't know if color bar still continues because uh, i haven't seen it uh, on nika so no idea but this is the one can you see so the shade is a beautiful red actually this is the shade so the number actually i don't have any name on anything for this one so i'm not so sure next up i have lakme 9 to 5 lipstick now this is a primer plus matte lipstick again it's a red lipstick this is how the packaging looks actually it's a actually it's a pink pinkish red sort of a lipstick beautiful color this one also and the shade name is ruby rush yeah lakme 95 primer plus matte ruby rush is the shade name all right uh, most probably i'll be going in with this shade only and another one i have is 9 to 5 weightless matte mousse lip and cheek color okay this is how it looks and the shade is something like this actually i'm going to go with with this one this is going to go in with my uh, kurta so uh yeah so i do not really overline my lips but if necessary you will do it doesn't matter and uh, about the lip balm i already removed it while i was wearing the dress otherwise it would have transferred to my dress so i removed it already uh now this is the look but there are a lot of things extra things to do because it's karwa chauth so yeah so i'm back with these uh, earrings i got these in front so i just wore these i think it's matching also white right, right i think it's matching so uh, okay so i have uh, two bindis with me actually three bindis sizes basically so this one is a tiny one uh, so first let me tell you these are two boxes where you get these bindis uh, you just remove the back white thing and then you apply it and then you can again uh, if you keep the white uh, thing properly then again you can put it back and keep it inside so these are the boxes which i got, got from garia hat uh, footpath of course and uh, i think uh, it's also available uh, in vardhan market yeah it's also available in vardhan market so uh, i have two sizes this is the chotu one this is slightly like the medium usually i wear this one uh, nowadays and i have a bigger version this one i don't know how this is going to look but let's try why not okay i i, I look really different but <laughs> this is not usually my style but we can for the video you know <laughs> so since it's karwa chauth look so i will use this lakme jewel sindoor 
uh, I haven't tried this actually. So um, it's a liquid sindoor. I usually wear the powder one only. But yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. So sindoor and all are done. Uh, I think the look is pretty nice. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think I look good. With this bindi also, I look different because I have never worn a big bindi. But um, yeah, I look good. <laughs> so if you guys want, you can also, you know, tie your hair up, put gajra and everything. Uh, I'm very bad at doing hairstyles, so I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I just kept my hair open. But yeah, if you want, you can do that. So yeah, this is how I look. watching today's video i will come up with more such videos and vlogs do keep an eye on my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye